another 4-0 win. It's literally the new 1-1 at the minute. Um, Crystal Palace obviously were depleted. They had uh, six of their first team starters not available and they haven't even scored a goal this season, let alone won a point. Uh, so yeah, I was expecting a whitewash and that's pretty much what it was. Uh, nice and easy, you know, coming off a round trip from Russia uh, where we obviously won 4-1 in that game. Uh, it's the perfect fixture really because you don't really have to exert yourself too much. No offence to Palace but they've been absolutely shite this season. So yeah, we, we didn't really try too much because we didn't need to. Um, we got an early goal which is always nice in these types of games. Uh, it was brilliant from Rashford to turn his man and he plays a lovely ball across the box and Mata finds it, uh, well taps it in and uh, that's his first goal this season I think so that's 10 scorers this year so far for us which I'm unsure what our scorers last year were but yeah we're, we're spreading the goals out it's nice to see and then uh, I had a lot of people on Twitter uh, calling Fellaini shit prior to the game and saying oh why the hell is he uh, starting well you know, he scored two in this game, uh, which is the first time he's ever done that for Manchester United. The last time being uh, 2013 for Everton, just before he signed for us. So, uh, yeah, the first of which is a, it's just a phenomenal ball from Ashley Young. We really need to get someone who can cross the ball like Ashley Young because he's 31, 32 now. Uh, he's playing pretty sporadically, but he's still our best crosser and he proved it again. Fantastic ball in. Fellaini taps it in 2-0. Nice and simple, and uh, we make it 3-0, uh, I think, yeah, in the second half it is actually, and it's Fellaini again, it's a wonderful free kick from uh, Marcus Rashford, whipped in with a lot of pace, and uh, it literally hits Fellaini, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if he actually, you know, so much of it because of the pace of the ball, but it literally hits him on the head, and uh, yeah, 3-0, nice and easy from then on in, and that's another two assists for Rashford, so although he didn't score in this game, he still did very, very well. Uh, then we brought Martial off the bench, Lingard off the bench, and De Herrera off the bench. And uh, it's wonderful work from Martial for the last goal. And uh, he tees up Lukaku for a nice tap in, 4-0. Lukaku's now scored in every single game again, bar Leicester where he missed the penalty. Every other game he's scored when he's played, so it's been uh, great. There was rumours that he uh, you know, had a fitness test prior to the game to see if he was fit enough to play this game. Thankfully he was even though, to be honest, it wouldn't have really mattered. It's more in personal accolades. I want Lukaku to win Golden Boot. Like, I want a Manchester United striker to win Golden Boot again, not Harry Kane, although he's been absolutely phenomenal, again, for Spurs. So he's probably the main competitor. Morata, Aguero, the other competitors for the Golden Boot at the minute. But yeah, that's seven Premier League goals for Lukaku. I think it's 11 in 10 games, something like that. Uh, Martial came off the bench again to get another assist. I do think he deserved to start, um, but Rashford started and he got two assists. So, you know, at the minute, because one of them starts and there's two of them fighting for the same spot, it seems to push on and they, it seems to be getting the best out of those players. And here's a, a really good stat that I actually love. Last season, 63 games, we only scored four plus in six of those games. So far, 11 games this season, we've already scored four plus in six games. So in 52 less games, we've managed to score as many four pluses as we did last season, which is just incredible. Like literally 4-0 is genuinely the new 1-1 at the minute. Uh, we got that so many times last season, an annoying 1-1 draw, but now we're just picking up 4-0 wins for the fun of it. And uh, now we've got an international break. Um, I hate those so much. I absolutely despise mm -hmm. international breaks, but when it's finished, uh, we've got Liverpool, mm -hmm. and that'll be our first top six fixture, and I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Uh, we're away, of course. I think we've got four away games in a row in all competitions after the international break, but yeah, Liverpool at Anfield, I'm very confident. 19 points from 21. Couldn't have went much better. Just really the triple mutton goals against Stoke. We dropped two points there. Everything else this season has just been absolutely phenomenal.